Above-ground septic systems, also known as sand mound septic systems, are used for the on-site treatment of sewage when site conditions aren't suitable for installing conventional septic systems due to the increased risk of system failing. Today, we'll examine the components of above-ground septic systems as well as their advantages. But first, let's review the three key components. The septic tank. The septic tank is where pre-treatment separation takes place. It's a large, concrete, polythylene or fiberglass chamber that's buried underground. Household wastewater flows into the septic tank. Once in the tank, the wastewater separates into three layers. The heavier solid matter, or sludge, sinks to the bottom. The middle layer consists of liquid effluent, while the lighter solids, known as scum, float to the surface. The sludge at the bottom of the septic tank is partially decomposed by anaerobic bacteria that thrive in these oxygen-free conditions. The liquid effluent then flows from the septic tank into the dosing chamber, aided by gravity. The dosing chamber. The dosing chamber, or pump chamber, collects the effluent that flows from the septic tank. It's constructed of concrete, pilothylene, or fiberglass, and is fitted with a pump, a pump control float, and a high water alarm float. Once the effluent in the tank reaches the level of the control float, it triggers the pump to turn on and pump a predetermined amount of effluent up to the sand mound located above ground level. Once the level of the effluent in the dosing chamber is reduced to the level of the off float, the pump automatically switches off and stops pumping. The control floats housed in the pump chamber can be adjusted to deliver the most appropriate volume of effluent that the mound can process. In addition, to prevent system failure, most pump chambers also contain an alarm float that activates a warning alarm should there be any problems with the pump or the system. This is set to trigger if the effluent levels rise above the on float without triggering the pump. The pump discharge pipe should be fitted with a quick release coupler to allow easy access to the pump. A length of nylon rope attached to the pump will make it easier to haul it out of the chamber should it fail. The sand mound. The sand mound is a drain field that's been artificially created by forming a raised drainage bed above the natural surface of the ground. It consists of a bed of sand and gravel containing a distribution system made up of perforated pipes. Effluent in the dosing chamber is pumped up to the mound under low pressure to ensure even distribution throughout the drainage bed. The effluent then trickles out of the small perforations in the pipes and down through the bed of gravel in the sand mound below. Aerobic bacteria in the sand treat the effluent, removing pathogens before it filters through the soil to the groundwater. Advantages of an above-ground septic system An above-ground septic system can offer an alternative on-site sewage treatment solution on sites where soil conditions are unsuitable for conventional in-ground sewage treatment systems. In addition to protecting the groundwater by artificially increasing the vertical separation layer, sand mound septic systems don't discharge directly to a surface water body including ditches, streams, or rivers. This limits the potential for polluting surrounding freshwater systems. Since very little excavation is needed for the construction of a sand mound drain field, construction damage is usually minimal if undertaken with care. Because above ground septic systems are suitable for all climates, including areas that receive high rainfall, they're the ideal choice. So, if you're restricted from installing a conventional septic system due to your site conditions, an above ground septic system or sand mound septic system offers the perfect solution to your problem. If you'd like to learn more about septic tanks, visit our site today. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.